NBC News Justice correspondent Pete Williams now. Pete, Director Ray has a message for all of these companies paying that, that are paying the ransoms. Right, Shep. Well, first he said the FBI urges these companies not to pay the ransom for a couple of reasons. Because every time a victim pays, of course, it encourages the hackers to do it some more. And second, because he says it doesn't always work, that the key the hackers provide doesn't always unlock the victim's computer. But he said the number one message for companies that are hit is to alert the FBI. Whether the company pays or not, what we really need is to make sure that the companies uh, or, or other organizations who are victimized uh, reach out and coordinate with the FBI and with our partners as quickly and promptly as possible. Speed matters, Ray says. He says Colonial Pipeline did contact the FBI very early on and that that's one reason why the Justice Department was able to seize the hackers' bitcoins and get a good deal of that ransom back, Shep. Pete, Director Ray also facing questions about the investigations into the January 6th attack. Right. Well, he said the FBI has made close to 500 arrests so far with more to come. And by the way, federal prosecutors have said in recent court filings that the number of cases could reach 550 or more. He was asked whether former President Trump is under investigation for inciting the riot, but he seemed to suggest the answer to that is no. And one other note, he also publicly disclosed a method that investigators have used for figuring out who was inside the Capitol, in addition to all the photos and videos that they got. The FBI, obtain, FBI rather, obtained lists from cell phone service providers of all the numbers for devices that were present in the Capitol during the riot. And then working with Capitol Police, the Bureau got the phone numbers of members of Congress, staff, and others who were authorized to be in the building. And after subtracting those, the resulting numbers were suspected to be of devices possessed by people who entered illegally, and that provided some leadership. Mm, very interesting. Pete, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.